Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode, and this time I thought I would do a quick little video on how to connect your new Series 3 cellular iWatch with your cell carrier. So this is the big feature that the new Series 3 has, that a lot of the watches have the ability, if they have this red dot here, to connect with your LTE connection and you can operate your watch as basically a phone in many instances and without having it necessarily tethered to your iPhone. So it's a great feature, but a lot of people have complained about how difficult it has been to connect their watch to the cellular service. So I just ran through this yesterday. I went through the series of motions to uh, log my watch in and do all these new different things and, and just hit a roadblock. And in fact, I talked to one T-Mobile person who basically said her computer crashed and she will disappear. Then I talked to another person who I swear uh, I think, who is that guy? Uh, I wrote it down here. So I talked to uh, whoever, uh, who disconnected me. Uh, then I talked to a third guy who initially sounded like he didn't know what he was talking about, but really he did know what he was talking about. He just wasn't explaining himself very well. And so I want to kind of go through all of that and tell you how I connected my iWatch to my cellular service with the hopes that it might help you. And again, this is using T-Mobile, but I've seen that there's problems with Verizon and AT&T and Sprint, so it's all the carriers. So the first thing that I would suggest is when you set up your watch, it's gonna take you through a series of prompts when you're in that watch app um, and uh, on your phone. And there's going to be one point where it says connect with your cellular service. I would say initially to skip that step and to go through the entire process of of setting up your watch without cellular service so it's up and running before you even attempt to do anything else. I ran into a lot of problems by not doing that and you had to do a lot of reboots and those sorts of things. Now, when you do go back and you say set up cellular service, it's going to run you through some prompts. Initially, it may give you some sort of a little screen that says there's a server error. Keep on trying to go through that process anyways and eventually you're gonna wind up with this, uh, a a splash screen for your cellular provider. Now the problem that I ran in when I finally did get that splash screen is it asked for the last five digits of the principal owner's social security number. Now I am the I, I have a business account so I have like a higher level account but I'm the business owner. I put those five digits of my social security number in countless times it said inaccurate results and it rejected me and that's when I called the um, the T-Mobile uh, customer support. Again, mixed mixed feelings about it, not the greatest experience, but at least they got the job done. So what they informed me initially is, is that I had to have a separate phone number for my watch, separate from the phone itself. Now, I disputed that with them because my understanding was that my phone would receive, I could receive phone calls from my phone on my watch, and if I place phone calls, I would, of course, place them through that same number. The bottom line is, is that they were correct. They just didn't explain their logic very well. They indeed do have to establish a separate phone number for your watch, but through the miracle of electronics and computing, that number can be masked. And so when I dial out with this, it's going to use my cell phone number. When someone calls this, it's going to go to my watch uh, if I'm wearing my watch. So it does do that, but they do have to establish that separate number. And you are going to need, and I think it's actually 35 digits, you are going to need a number on your box. So I can't even see this number with my glasses. I use a magnifying glass. But there is a EID or electronic identification number right here on your box. That's where it's at. I could not find it anywhere else. So don't throw out your box. Um, and they will need that number to establish that um, that kind of um, electronic SIM card, I guess, with, with, your, with your watch. Once they do that and they set it all up, you think you're all set, but you're not. And they didn't tell me this. So you have to go back into your settings on your phone 
and actually activate the cellular service. So they have activated the cellular service by giving you that number and everything should be good, but it's still not activated. So you have to go back into your app on the phone and activate cellular service with your watch. It's just a one click button. But if you don't know that, you're gonna be still sitting there saying, I don't know, that's what I did. I said, I don't know, this is not working. So now it is working, of course, with the limitations that the Apple Watch has, uh, which you can read about and see that in other places. Uh, and, but it is working and I can make and, and receive phone calls and if I turn off my, my phone, I can still do that and, and that's all good. But none of this stuff is being said anywhere. So it's, you really need to go through those steps. There may be easier ways. Perhaps my setup was a little glitchy for some reason, but I don't know why mine would be glitchy when someone else's would not be glitchy. Uh, so if you can get through it without doing that, that's great. But if you have problems, call your carrier. You have that EID number available to read off to them. They will establish a separate phone number for your watch, but it will be masked. And then when it's all done and everything is good, you are still going to have to go back into your app to activate that phone with a one-click button. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you are trying to get your Apple Watch with LTE up and running on an LTE network, if you get some time, please give my podcast a listen. It's an audio podcast. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Reveal with Dr. Mike. It has myself and my wife on it. I'm a psychiatrist. She's a psychologist. We talk about all sorts of stuff from our kids to psychiatry to psychology to current events to whatever. So it's kind of a fun a fun listen, I think. I also have an experimental writing blog. I'm trying to expand my writing horizons, find out what my style is, be really honest in my writing. That's drmikekuna.com, D-R-M-I-K-E-K-U-N-A.com. Uh, if you want to know more about me in real depth, because it's really me raw out there, uh, give that a little read. Subscribe to that if you like. If you want to, if you like these videos, please subscribe to these videos. Please give me a thumb up if you like this particular video. My channel is very diverse. It is not focused on one thing. So you will hear product reviews, information, you name it. Um, I think life is complex. My channel is complex. So if you like complex things, uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, subscribe. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.